Oh, not to worry. Dusty is right where I left him. Keep him there. I'm on my way. Uh, no, no, Mother, no need to... Mm. Another. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh. Not necessary. Sierra, my boss lady. Well, that didn't take long. Of course not. I'm highly motivated. I don't suppose you had any help with that. I don't need help. I used to drink for a living, you know, when I was boss at Metro, more or less. I'm in ship shape, though. Well, good for you, but uh, I'm not. There has been an unexpected glitch in the Napa deal, and my mother is in the state. In fact, she's on her way over here to talk to us about it. Fantastic. We're gonna have a party. Huh? No party? Oh, great. She's in high dudgeon, and you are as drunk as a skunk. Whatever. Look, the night's young. Pull up a stool. Would you stay with me for a while? I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may... Thank you, Bubbles. Thank you. You have made me the, the happiest man alive. <laughs> mm. I'll let you be happy, Bubbles. That's all I want. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Where's Allison? Uh, 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 over there. Oh, is everything okay? Because she called me and, and said that they need help and come over right away, emergency. Yeah, Allison and Aaron are in a bind. Yeah, Metro didn't pass inspection, so they got to bring it up to code before they can open it tonight. Oh, no. Yeah, here's the report. They went out to grab some things on the list, extra fire extinguishers, things like that. A wall? They need to build a new wall before they can open? That's my job. By tonight? my really challenging job. Well, mine too. For a while, at least. Just tell me what to do, and I'm all yours. It, it would help me if you would get out of my way. Not until you listen to me. To you. Whether or not I marry Mike is none of your business. Well, no, no, actually. It's life-altering for both of us. Excuse me? Well, all right, maybe a little more for you than for me, but that's what worries me. So give me two minutes. What? Give me two minutes to keep you from making the worst mistake of your life. Oh, yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, will you move? Just hear me out. And if you still want to marry Mike Kaznov, I'll pay for the wedding. I'll give you away. From you, I would need a cashier's check. Jennifer! <clears throat> Go ahead. Jennifer, I've known you a long time. I've watched you grow up, change, become a smart, talented, passionate woman. I've seen you do some wonderful things. I've seen you do some stupid things. But I've never seen you give up. That's it? You think by marrying Mike, I'm giving up? If you accept Mike Kaznov's proposal, what happens to this glorious, independent woman you've become? I think she's done. Call me crazy, but it sounded like you just threatened your own sister. Family business. Yeah, I'm a cop. Half my business is domestic disputes. Well, that's not what's happening here. You know, she just popped off about something, and I just make sure she doesn't do it in spite. See, Keith, that just doesn't sound good. I don't care how it sounds. She's not going to keep my nephew from me. Do you threaten to keep JJ from you, too? Well, she's tried it before. It's not going to happen, though. Hold on a second. Wait a second. Listen to me. Whatever this is, let's not forget this little boy involved here. And you said it yourself. He doesn't deserve to be dragged around any more than he already has. I know. There's a little boy involved. I'm his uncle. It's my job to take care of him. And nobody's going to tell me how to do my job. Not you or my sister. Got it? Hey, Lily, it's me. Call me right away. I have an idea about how we can fix this, but, but you need to come home. If you get caught at Julia's, you could go to... Oh, Lily, thank God you're back. It's not Lily. No, I can see that. Where is she? 
out. Why do I get nervous every time I show up and she's not here, but you are? She's very upset about that restraining order, Holden. Yeah, I know. She didn't want the children to see her crying, so she went out. Where are they, the kids? Faith and Natalie are watching a video. Luke's in his room. I will stay with the kids until Lily gets home. I need to talk to Luke. No. No, you see, he, he knows about the restraining order, and he's pretty mad. Who knows what he'll say? I think you should wait for Lily. Carly, they're think? my kids. I don't need your permission to see them. Good night. Good night. order against you, Lily. Won't it? Were you planning to ignore it? No, no. What the hell are you doing here? Please tell me you turned around and walked away. I saw a picture of them together. I lost it. I didn't know what I was doing. So I tore up the picture and started breaking stuff. Oh, my God. Well, I wanted her to know what it feels like when somebody takes everything that belongs to you and trashes it. Answer me, damn it. I, 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 I found out about the restraining order and I freaked out and, and I came and you over what? here. You came over here and trashed my home? Yes. Yes, I came over here and I trashed your home. It was a stupid thing to do. I'm sorry. I was trying to clean it's up before late. you got home. Okay. I will take care of everything. No, I will have no, somebody come thank in. Thank you. I'll hire somebody. What? To you like to write damage checks, don't you? Please, you you think that makes everything okay? I, I don't think that this is the time. No, for you us don't to argue. think. That is the problem, lady. You are out of control. You have every right to, to feel any way you want to feel about me. But can we please just call this one bad day? Let me make it right and we can start over. What? So you can do this again maybe next time in front of my son? No, I don't think so. Lily, you know what? You can start over in jail. <laughs>